On Friday, a 38-minute recording of the negotiations appeared on Russian social media. The participants discussed the possible use of German-made Taurus missiles and their potential effect. Among other things, they discussed a hypothetical attack on the carriage bridge. The recording was published by Russian propagandist Margarita Simonyan. In her opinion, it is proof that Germany is planning strikes on Russian-occupied Crimea. The German defense ministry confirmed the fact of a confidential conversation between high-ranking Bundestag officers about Russia's war against Ukraine. Ukraine, but this does not mean that the recording was not edited. According to Spiegel magazine, the video conference was not held on a secret internal army network, but on the WebEx platform. The head of the defense ministry, Boris Pistorius, has ordered a full investigation to find out the officer's credentials and the correctness of the choice of communication method. This is a hybrid attack whose objective is to spread disinformation, cause a split, disrupt our unity. We must not fall for Putin's tricks, so we must respond sensibly, but no less decisively. Boris Pistorius, Federal Minister of Defense of Germany, in a publication in Tagesschau. Such leaks are the result of information war that the Kremlin is actively waging against countries in Europe and the United States. In February 2024, France uncovered a large-scale Russian disinformation operation against Ukraine and its allies. This was reported by French intelligence. Russia is also intervening in the U.S. election campaign. NBC News journalists reported citing former U.S. officials and cyber experts. According to them, Moscow is using fake online accounts and bots to harm President Biden's campaign and the Democratic Party, as well as to undermine U.S. support for Ukraine. I believe that one of the most effective restrictions could include banning or restricting the social network X. Many politicians are still registered on this social media platform. Russia uses bots very well. It is very skillful in launching fakes. Preventing support for Ukraine at the international level is one of the Kremlin's main tasks, and Moscow is using every opportunity to implement it. For example, China and Turkey have launched initiatives for peace negotiations. Russia is trying to use them for its information campaigns aimed at undermining international support for Ukraine, according to the Institute of the Study of War. Russian officials continue to falsely blame Ukraine and the West for the lack of peace negotiations between Russia and Ukraine. Despite numerous public Russian statements suggesting or explicitly stating that Russia is not interested in good faith peace negotiations with Ukraine, from a report by the Institute for the Study of War. European Commission Vice President Vera Jurova has called for more concerted actions to defend against Russian propaganda in the run-up to the upcoming European elections. According to Politico, Jurova will visit a number of European capitals to push for a more coordinated response to Russia's disinformation campaign. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Victoria Smirnova, UATV News.